Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I am your host, Ms. Reaper. You may all know me on Xbox, but of course you know me on YouTube. So, today is a little different. You see, it's a gaming video without any gameplay. What do you mean by that, Beth? Or Ms. Reaper? Or whatever you want to call me? What I mean is, it's a kiss, marry throw into oblivion tag i've done one of these before but with like book characters because when i first started this i was a bit of a bookworm i still am kind of but anyway as you can kind of see there are like 21 names you may count them if you please um but yep yeah. so shall we get on with round one So, for this, I will be pulling out three names. He is the Wood Elf King in the Elder Scrolls Online, who you can find in Grotwood, Elden Root. Uh, he will preside over that area's zone quests. So, let's remove the name. And we shall pull out another two names. And we have... Bastion. Yay. So I have not really done much with Bastion. So this will be like what I know about him so far. I've done like his quest thing. But yep, he is the Imperial Companion that came with Blackwood. Next name to be pulled from the uh, spinny spin slip is Moloch. <laughs> so, these are your contestants. King Tamar and Aragon, Bastion, and Moloch Baal. This one is fairly straightforward. Um, so... I would, as you all know, King Camoran is the Wood Elf King. He, uh, Bastion is the new companion. And Moloch Baal has been in the game since day one. He sedated the prince, who has done all the dark anchors, also known as dolmens. He resides over Cold Harbor, which is a realm of oblivion. So, I think I will... Maybe kiss Bastion. I mean, I do have to put up with him whenever I want to go battle with him. I would maybe marry King Kamar and Aragon. And <laughs> I would throw Moloch Baal into oblivion just to lock him in there and so he doesn't attack Nern ever again. That, that is my verdict. Okay. We have Lord Vivian. Okay. Second name. We have Manny Marco, the guy who sacrifices you. And then we have. Oh, we have good old Shigorath. Right, these are your contestants Manny Marco, Lord Favec, and Shigorath. This one again is pretty easy. I would probably kiss Lord Favec, he's one of, part of the tribunal. I haven't done much dealings with him outside of Valenfell which is the Morrowind DLC uh, my other half also got me a pop vinyl of him for Mother's Day yeah 
Um, I would probably marry Shergarath because, like, who wouldn't? He's mad. We're all mad, especially here. Uh, <laughs> and he's he's very funny. I I like that in a man. And I would toss Manny Marco into oblivion, the deeper realms of oblivion. I mean, he sacrifices your character to Molag Val. And he thinks that he can get away with this. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Name number two, we have. And lastly, we have <laughs> Oh, wow. So, these are your champions for round three. We have Sophie Seal, who is, again, part of the tribunal alongside Lord Vivek. We have Prince Naemon. Queen Irene's brother. And then we have the Prophet, which is with you throughout the main story of the Elder Scrolls Online. So, once again, this one's pretty easy to some extent. Um, I would probably kiss the Prophet just to, you know, show my respects because he is an Emperor. You know, I'd, ki I'd kiss his hand. I wouldn't actually, like, kiss him on the lips. Um, I would probably marry Sofa Seal. And those of you who have played through the Valen Woods um, storyline would know the reason why I would toss Prince Naemon into the pits of oblivion. Basically, he is a bit of a douche. Yes, I said that. He's a douche. I don't use that word normally. Douche. Um, basically, he's like, oh, I'm the rightful heir to the throne. And he's just, oh, I'm so glad when I got to kill him. Spoiler. Okay? Spoiler. If you haven't done it yet. I, w I was satisfied. We have <laughs> Clavicus. <laughs> Name number two. We have. And the last name for this round will be Cadwell. <laughs> oh my. So, here are your contestants for round four. Clavicus Vile, a Daedric Prince of Le Tips and Tricks. Ha ha ha. We have King High King Emmerich. Of the Daggerfall Covenant. And we have everyone's favourite, Cadwell. So, I would probably... Hmm. Kiss High King Emmerich on the hand. He is royalty and that's respectful to do. I would probably marry Cadwell... I mean, he is a great guy, especially in the main storyline. Very, very powerful. And I would toss Clavicus Vile into the 
depths of oblivion, especially with the way he treats Barbus, his dog. Yeah, he has a dog, okay? And he's not a big fan of that dog. He mistreats that dog. We have... Mike. We... Name number two. We have... Barbus. <laughs> and then we have Sai Sahara. <laughs> so these are your contestants for round five Maik the liar, Barbus the dog. Yes, guys, I know the photo is from Skyrim. I'm aware of this. And Sai Sahan. Mike the Liar, is, you can find in every region of the map, in different locations. Barbus the Dog, you can find within certain storylines. And Sai Sahan helps you out throughout the main story and within Southern Elsewhere. Yes, guys, the place of the Khajiits. So, I would probably kiss Barbus when... Oh, God. That's bestiality. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, probably kiss Sai Sahan. Um, he's a nice guy, but he has his heart out for Lyris Titanborn. Yes, guys, the half-giant. Um, I would probably marry Maik the liar. I mean, he has a lot of fun facts, okay? And j just look at him. He's a kitty cat. And, you know, Khajiit. Does Khajiit have gold if you have whales? Which means he has a lot of gold. But then that would mean I'd have to toss Barbus into the realms of oblivion. I'm sorry, Barbus. I like you. But you have to go join your master again. That, 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 that's all I have to say upon the matter. First person. Razmda. <laughs> Raz. Name number two. We have. Silver Nar, Silver Nair, depends on where you're from. And then we have... <laughs> Here are your competitors for round six. We have Razanda, the Silver Nar, and Jorn, the Scold King. So... I think I would probably kiss John the Scold King. I mean, he's a king. Again, it's respectful to kiss him on the hand. And I would probably marry Ravnda because who wouldn't? He is the hand of the king, queen. I know they're called Iron King. I think someone's been watching too much Game of Thrones. That person would be me. Um, but yeah. So, marry Razanda. I, I love Razanda. And that would mean that I have to toss the Sylvanir, who, without him, the entirety of Valenwood would fall apart. E yeah. But bye bye, Sylvanir. You're going to Oblivion for uh, the next. I don't know how long. Eternity. Well, 
that means that the only ones left are Medrun Dagon, Darien, and Abnathan. So, shall we uh, just get on to that one then, huh? No need to spin the wheel. There's only three names left. And here are your contestants. We have Daddy Dagon, also known as Maroon Dagon, Abnathan, and Darien, who is a worker for Meridia. Um, so I would probably choose to maybe kiss Abnathan. Maybe. Uh, marry Darian, um, basically just due to his storyline in Somerset. I don't care about him in the base game. And I would probably toss Daddy Dagon into his realm of oblivion. Just so he can spend another 800 years planning the oblivion crisis, for crying out loud. So guys, I shall bid thee farewell. And stay safe, stay soul-driven, and peace out.